Okay, now for the upper body, we'll start with tapping. So we'll start from right hand, it's just an open hand, and we're gonna tap across the chest, and then down the inside of the opposite arm, and then flip, and then we'll tap on the outside going up. We'll tap across and take the other hand, and we'll do the same thing going down, tapping, flip, tap up, tap across your chest. And we've done this in other videos, other times. I just think it's so simple that it's something we can do at any time. You can just build this into your day. It's not something you have to set aside time for. We can just do this at any time. And it brings the, the idea of doing this is to tap into the cultivating um, kindness and compassion. So it starts with yourself. You have to have these qualities inside, working to build these qualities inside and give yourself this compassion and kindness so that you have it available to give to others. And then finish with both hands tapping just under your collarbones. You can use your fingers at this point, just tapping right in this heart space. And breathing. From here, take your fingers to your shoulders if that feels okay for you, and we'll make some circles with the elbows. So feeling into your shoulder blades, making these circles your own. So they can be small or they can be big, opening up through your collarbones and the shoulder blades in your back body. And after you do a few in one direction, then switch directions, do a few that are small, and then do a few that are large, opening up through those shoulders. Notice how it feels when you breathe and you open up through your back. The back is supporting you. So sometimes when we're feeling a little too much stress, we get hardness around the heart and hardness around the back of the heart. So here we're opening it up. And do the same thing with your shoulders. So roll your shoulders, see how much movement you can get. So even if it's small, just ask yourself, hmm, how does it feel? How does, you know, even if it's like, you can't make a full, big, expressive shoulder rotation, that's fine. Just invite the concept of rolling and opening up and then going the other direction, forward and down, rolling up, forward and down. Notice how it feels in your heart. How does it feel across your chest, your entire chest cavity? And then maybe do one one direction and the other the other direction. This is very um, tricky for the brain sometimes. So right now we're sort of doing that back stroke. And then go the other direction forward. And now the really tricky part is can you do one forward and one back? So I'll try one forward as the other one goes back. <laughs> One forward as the other one goes back, and then do the other forward as the other one goes back, forward as the other one goes back, and your brain is going, what are you doing to me? <laughs> so it's just fun to try that out. Okay, so here, settle into your legs again. Those legs that we just worked should feel nice and warm and rejuvenated. So open your hands, arms out wide across your chest, and now give yourself a hug, so wrap one elbow on top, squeeze here. Give yourself permission to hug. This is a safe hug. Inhale, extend, and wrap the other arm on top. Squeeze and hug yourself in. You're such a good person. Inhale, exhale. This time, wrap, if you can, your fingertips to those shoulder blades and feel as you breathe. Feel that support in your back body. Inhale, open up, exhale. Hook those fingertips around if you can and breathe. Bringing awareness to all the breath that lives in your back body. Now you can continue with this or if you'd like to try the double wrap. So crossing at the elbows and then lifting the palms and maybe you can wrap the hands. Maybe, it doesn't have to be. Remember, this is good, right? <laughs> we don't do enough of this. So if, that, if that's where you are, that's great. If you're here, so right now my right arm is on top and I'm double binding. So now my left thumb is gonna to go to the center of my forehead. You can close your eyes if you get here. As you close your eyes, the thumb is at the center of your forehead. Send your attention to the middle of your brain. Soften the top palate of your mouth.
When you're ready, extend and open up and cross the other direction. Again, if you're here, you're noticing all that breath and all that space and all that support in your back body. If you have it within your range of movement, you can then double cross. And then this time it's the right thumb. I know it gets tricky sometimes when we're double bound, which is right and which is left. So it would be the other thumb now to the center of your forehead. Close your eyes, take your attention to the center of your brain. Soften the root of your tongue, soften your jaw, and continue breathing wherever you are. Send breath and energy and compassion to the back of your heart. And send that compassion up through the center of your spine, up through the center of your brain. When you're ready, open your eyes if they were closed. Open your arms out to the sides. Again, you might want to roll your shoulders a few times here. From here, interlace your fingers behind your back. Allow your wrists to go straight if they can. So we're gonna open up through the front collarbone. So space across the chest. So open up wide here. You can even take your gaze up slightly if it feels okay. And then interlace your fingers in front of you. Flip your wrists, press them forward. So start with your elbows bent. And then if it feels okay, extend through the wrists and then you can lift overhead if it feels okay. If it doesn't, then you just bend your elbows. Extend through the wrist if it feels okay. And then extend and brush your hands by your sides. This time, clasp your, take a hold of your right wrist over towards your left hip. From here, tilt your head towards that left hip. You can stay here and breathe, allowing that right shoulder that we just worked the shoulder blade and the neck and all those muscles that tense up, just allow them to melt here. If you like, you can add on by tilting your gaze. So with your gaze, looking up to the corner of your ceiling and then taking your gaze to the opposite. This case would be right hip. So sometimes I say, pretend you have a pencil on your nose and you're drawing a line from the corner of your ceiling across down towards the opposite hip. If that makes sense for you, great. If it doesn't, that's okay too. Pausing in the center and then release your arms and float your head back up over center. Uh, do you notice a difference between the side we just did and the other side? I really do. Okay, so now we'll do the other side. So interlace the opposite index finger in front this time. And again, just allowing this um, collarbone area across your chest, all of this area that we tapped on, we're just inviting it, encouraging it, giving it space to open up by pressing our wrists down. Now, if it's too difficult, I should have said this before, if it's too difficult, you could always Craft, uh, grasp a pen, pencil, um, if you were to happen to have like a tie or some of the scarf, something if you had that handy, you could use that instead or in addition. Release that and then interlace again. It's gonna be, it's gonna feel a little weird, but put the other index finger in front, flip, press through, see how it feels. If you've got wrist stuff going on, keep your elbows bent. If it feels okay, extend and then lift up. And from here, just kind of wiggle through the, the waist and lift up through the ribs. See how long you can get through the side body. Think about length here, reaching up and then exhale. And then this time, clasp your left wrist, wrap it around towards the right hip. And then tilting the head towards the right hip. Before you start doing any uh, movements here, give yourself time to notice how it feels. You may want to stay there. If you want to try the tilting, then you just start taking your gaze towards the corner of your ceiling and then tilting so that your gaze comes to the outside of your hip. If this makes you dizzy, go slow or leave it out. 
if you want to add breath awareness as you inhale taking the gaze towards the, the um, tip of your ceiling and as you exhale the gaze would come back towards the hip and you've done about three or so if you liked that to come to center and pause and release the wrist and before you move your head float it back up ah float it back up see the difference okay roll the shoulders a few times whichever direction you want to go forward backward and let's go back to tapping so tapping again and this time you might want to tap on the back of the shoulder on each side too 